Hello class, good evening. How are you doing? Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, Jenny. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hey, how's it going? You ready for today's session? Yeah, I am ready. Great. Uh, great to hear that. So welcome, Reina. Welcome, Jenny. For uh, This is our session number four, number 15, you know, <laughs> a, a session more to go. And then this is going to be it. But welcome. Um, really hope you are doing great. We're going to start with our session number 15, like I said. And um, do you have any questions, guys, about the platform and a specific one you want to ask before we get started? Or are we doing OK so far? So no questions, that's really good. Well, um, let me start then by sharing the screen. We have um, this topic for today based on the platform. And let's see, give me just a second. I remember you had a homework for today as well. I really hope you practice and you have your words, your lines and your ideas to be shared. Today we're going to study about antonyms. Uh, this is vocabulary from the platform. We're going to study um, some bearers, some adjectives, and that's what we're going to be doing. So welcome. This is session 15 once again. And But before we get started, I have this question for you, which is, uh, what would you do if you were the president of El Salvador? That was what I said yesterday that I was going to be asking. And I want to give you know some time for you to you know provide your answers. We are four people, five plus me. I don't know who would like to start. Uh, Jenny, Reina. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing your, your um, ideas. And, la and I said, try to expand, try to speak, not only one sentence, but many, right? So that's the idea. So who wants to start you know, sharing about this? Did you have uh, the time to think about this question? Because if you didn't, I understand you might have you know, many things to do during the day. So I do wanna give you some time for you to create your answer, okay? If you don't have your answer, I'm gonna give you maybe two or three minutes and start thinking about what you're going to say and please support your ideas, okay? So let's take then three minutes to brush ideas up and then we're going to share. Right, we have our first um, participation, I think. And Emma, you have your hands up. So go ahead and share what you have. Okay, well, if I were a president of El Salvador, I will change some things about it. Because the first part, I think, well, I consider that the education is the more important part. And all the ages. That's why I will try to improve the education since the kids with three or four years old until older people. And after that, I will improve the opportunities to get a job, a good job in different kind of areas because you know, there are many homeless and I consider that in some cases they can do different kind of things. If someone tells or someone helps him, help them with something 
And I know there are many people that don't want to do anything, but there are other people that if they have the opportunity, they will improve their life in something like that. And that's why the things that I want to tell you that I consider the education and the opportunities to get a good job. It's the most important the most important things to me. And that's why I would like to do that if I were a president. Okay, thank you so much. I like your ideas. I like what you have expressed. And of course, right, you have said, uh, you talked about, let's see, you talked about education, opportunities, and helping people who are in need, right? And I'm glad to hear those ideas uh, because nowadays we might have um, people in charge of our country which might only say they're doing stuff, but at the end they don't really do what they have to do. So thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that idea. Okay, so now uh, we're going to listen to one more opinion. Okay, who wants to go next? Jeffrey, would you Thank like you to try? Okay, Jenny, go ahead, please. Thank you. If I were the president of El Salvador, I would help help a people with with public policies like free education, free health, and good jobs, opportunity opportunity of good jobs, respect the human rights, and not stolen. And I will installing. No, installing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that. That's all. It's uh in the same like the same way, right? I like that you are kind of like the same ideas. When we think about how we can change the Salvador, we think about uh, almost same same ideas, right? Uh, education, which is one of the keys for any country to develop. And, uh, and you, that's what you're also saying in a way, right? Salvador has a lot of things that we need to improve, you know, starting with um, everything within our families, right? And education, you know, goes beyond. It doesn't only um, apply for school, but also for families, right? So thank you so much, Jenny, for sharing your ideas. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. And I want to hear more ideas. We have, uh, let's see, seven connect so five more ideas are to come. So who's next? Now, um, maybe Jeffrey, you're next. Yes, teacher. If I were the El Salvador's president, I would try to boost the agriculture because I think that is a big and important uh, part of the El Salvador because we can uh, no, actually we buy the food to other countries, but we can with this to get our own food and we can, I don't know, uh, sell the, the other food export. and export, yes. And I will try to create national business like uh, I don't know, like, uh, for example, in El Salvador, the telecommunication are private, but we try to create, for example, a national business like telecommunication. Uh, in, Technology. Uh, yes, and create new works with this uh, business. being more like an independent country, right? Creating our own stuff, uh, telecommunication, uh, the agriculture as well, instead of importing, instead of uh, spending money on foreign companies, we do it like within our, you know, um, let's say own companies and stuff. Okay, it's a good perspective. Oh, thank you so much for sharing, Jeffrey. Now I want to hear some other ideas. Thank you so much. 
three participations so far, good ideas. And I want to hear to the ones who are missing. I can see Angie's here. I can see Reina's here or Reina wants to participate. So thank you so much, Reina. What's your point? What's your idea or contribution? Well, if I were the president of El Salvador, I would like to include the rights of the LGBT community because they are free to love and get married with the person that they love. Also, I would like to create programs to help all people because I think that it's important to feel that you are important and enjoying your last days. And also keeping working in the education because it's the most important thing. Good, we have class education. We now have programs that will support uh, preferences, right? Yeah, you're right. We, we all have this, um, you know, this opportunity, this right to be uh, accepted and, and equality, right? You know, means, okay, good. Thank you so much, Raina, for your ideas. And now, how about if we listen to, I don't know, maybe we have Gustavo here, it's connected, or I don't know if uh, Angie wants to participate on this or anybody else. If I were the president of Salvador, I would change the education system and make an agreement with companies or countries to guarantee employment for a student. It will also work to reduce crime, leaving example of what not to do and its consequences. All right, thank you so much. You see, we have another perspective now, like uh, making agreement with other countries to, to generate more opportunities and also working on the security, right, in our country. Good, thank you so much for that, that opinion, Giovanni. And we have, to, we still have some of you who haven't said anything. So I don't know if you uh, would like to participate, guys. Let's, because with these ideas, we're going to finish this topic, which is about, um, imaginary situations or unreal situations, but in a way, it's, it's a way of expressing our ideas about things which, um, you know, maybe, you know, can happen, but as, as of now, it's something just imaginary. So let's see, um, Angie, how are you doing, Angie? Hi, good night. Good evening. <laughs> I feel better, thank you. To hear that so do you have any 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 idea for us about this question um i think uh, if i i were the president of el salvador i open more job opportunity opportunities because i think that's our country need um besides i i change the fact um all the all the young people need to have um, job experience uh, because uh, someone don't have don't have uh, job experience, and I think in our children and and I I'll do um, uh, I I change or many many laws about uh, our our children and that's it uh, those laws which will protect children right yes. newborn yeah i think yeah implementing laws and executing them or that's, that's something good right sometimes laws are just made but they're not executed so that's just a law which that's right, right that's and, right all all Many laws and in, in our country, all they are only in paper. Exactly. And nobody made it. Nobody, exactly, nobody executed, right? Exactly, you're right. Yes. Good, good perspective as well. Thank you so much. Is there anybody who hasn't participated? We have listened to Angie, Emma, Giovanni, Jefferson. Oh, we have Hosman and Gustavo here. I think we haven't heard anything from you guys. What do you have to say about this question?
Hello. So I knew you were going to say something. So tell us, what do you think? Oh, sorry, sorry. Angie wants to talk. I did. No, you you're next. Angie just talked. Angie just finished okay. talking. Uh -huh. Oh well, first, if I were president of Salvador, uh, make a real plan to to make a real infrastructure about education, health, and security, and investment for people. Uh, know how much uh, money or, or who are really the finance the country to make uh, plans, but uh, real plans to uh, uh, develop uh, uh, education, health, and security, like the, like the best point. That I think for for a start, and then many many other things. All right, yeah. So thank you so much. Well, you guys have uh, provided many ideas, and something in common that you have mentioned is that uh, you have talked about programs, about education uh, system, about job opportunities uh, for young people, uh, security right uh, agreements with other countries and implement this lo implementing laws, but executing them, right? And Gustavo just finished saying that um, real things, right? Not only... Um, things that are not gonna happen, like uh, imaginary things as we're talking or using this structure. So basically, um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm, I'm so glad to hear we're um, providing and sharing about what we think, you know, of our dear country. Is there anybody else who would like to add anything else about this question? Maybe um, Osman. <laughs> No teacher, no question. Nothing, nothing else, okay, right, no problem. So, well, in this case, we are going to move on. We are going to, um, let's see, talk about this topic. Maybe you have seen it already on the, on the platform. Uh, what are antonyms, guys? Can you give me a definition of this, anybody? What is, what is it? What is an antonym? It's an opposite word it's an opposite about word. something. Like or, white and black, tall and short. Good, um, good definition. And let's do something. Let's work on this uh, chart, please. And um, use all these words that we have here and look for its antonym. For example, accept, we have refuse. It's already done. So I'm gonna give you maybe two or three minutes for you to complete it, okay? Once you finish, let me know and then we're going to compare, okay? It's on your notebook, guys.
one more minute. If you finish, guys, please let me know in the chat. I will appreciate that. All right, so let's see. Then uh, I can see we have uh, Angie who finished and we have Jeffrey who also finished. Thank you so much. What about the other ones? You finished guys? Yes, Angie, new look or not. <laughs> you guys changed. <laughs> why, why just say that? No, you, you your hair color. <laughs> you dye your no, hair. No, that, that's that's my that's my my natural color, color. hair. As, <laughs> as, no, natural no. <laughs> mm. But I usually I I color um this time. Mm, okay, so that's that's the color you usually have. So this is yes. dye. I usually use. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that's really good. Okay, um, so you finish, Jeffrey finished, and I don't know if the other ones finished already. If you haven't done that, uh, well, let me. I want. I want to hear. You know, if you have the same uh, question, same answers as I do. So let's do this. I'm gonna create like pairs and then compare if you have the same maybe two minutes for this and then we, we come back and, and start you know socializing our answers okay so talk to your partner and discuss you have the same ones and then we're gonna share as a whole class here we go two minutes please take advantage of the time Jenny, don't you have a partner to talk to? Hello? Jenny? Hello? Hello? Okay, so let's wait just a couple of minutes for everybody to come back. Do you have these answers, guys? The same one, the one that I'm displaying on the screen? Yes or not? I think they're not that complicated, they're kind of obvious, but then it's when you uh, to um, compare with your partners, okay? So let's take a look at this and let's wait for the ones who haven't returned to come back to the main station. Let's that second, let's wait a little bit, please.
All right, I think everybody's back. We have these uh, answers, guys. Just compare if you have the same one. I think uh, maybe it was not that difficult or it's kind of obvious, but then I still want you to correct or make sure you have the same answers. So the first one, accept, it was already done, refuse, right? We uh, refuse something or we accept it and then admit, we have deny deny and then we have agree and then we have disagree borrow lend dislike enjoy divorce marry and find lose okay so let's do something i want you to please um maybe one volunteer to read and, and to go over this pronunciation each one and tell me what is the past of these verbs as well if you if you can tell me maybe if they're regular or irregular verse. So for example, I'm gonna do the first one, accept the past is accepted because it's, it's a regular verse. Okay, that's it. Then we have refuse. Is it regular or irregular? What do you think? What, there, is, what is the meaning of land? Land is uh, like, the difference between this is because a lend is an action that is that you you do it for me and then uh, when I borrow I do it so that's the difference so borrow and lend uh, at the end the um, meaning or the intention is the same but what happened here is that I cannot say uh, can you can can you borrow me it's a mistake I have to say can I borrow because I'm the one who needs something and lend is is the one accepted for example can you lend me some money can you lend me your um, pen so that's the way it is used so one is an action that is done in first person i would say and then but that's borrow can i borrow i borrow something from you and lend uh, basically the other person does it for me and but in a way like i said maybe at the end in meaning kind of similar, but the structure and how they are used is different. So lend is prestar and barro is tomar prestado. Do you have any, any question or any sentence you want to share or what have you heard that you would like to socialize it with us? It would be great. What have you heard? about this or any sentence or question you want to give us these uh, verbs. All right, so uh, then uh, this is what I want you to tell me guys. I, like I said, what is, uh, let's take a look at the following, this one. How do we say this in the past form? Admitted. Admitted, very Admitted. good. And this one, set next one. Agreed. 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 Very good. Agreed. And this one, the next one. Borrowed. Agreed. Borrowed. Good. This one. Next one. Disliked. 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 Very good. It's a T sound. And this one. Divorced. 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 Good. T. Divorced. Divorced. And and then what about this one? Found. 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 It's different, right? We we have this is irregular. And irregular. This one, exactly. This one, the next one, second, second column. Refused. 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 You. Refused. Good. Next one is D de denied. Denied. Good. Denied. denied. Thank you. And then we have the opposite of uh, agree is disagree. Disagree. Disagreed. Very good. And then what is the past of this verb? Lent. Exactly. Lent. Lent. With the in a set of with C and the end. Exactly. Thank you so much, Lent. Enjoy. What is the uh, past? Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Very good. And Mary? Mary. Mary. And the last one, Mary. loose is? Lost. 
last last thank you so much now that we have uh, gone over this i want you to help me with some other some other ones that we have forget remember spend save think about one two three four five more uh antonyms maybe they, they can be verbs or they can be uh, nouns or adjectives okay so i'm gonna give you five minutes and start brainstorming some ideas and share with the whole class your own your own examples think about it please right now Tenemos, tenemos ahí. Aquí uno ya de Gustavo. We have one from Gustavo, and this is a live TED. Okay. This is one. Um, it's not a verb, but it's, uh, well, it can be a noun mm -hmm. or dead person or an adjective, right? Okay. What else do you have? I need to read five per each one. Okay. Cry, laugh, sleep, wake, okay. What else? Let's look for more examples. Look for fire. Love, hate, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Stand up. Me faltó. Sit and stand up. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sit, stand up. Happy, stand sad. up. Uh -huh. Hard working, lazy. Yes. And what uh -huh. about what about verbs or actions, guys, that you can think about? Strong, weak, yeah, yeah. Run, walk, okay, yes. Run, walk. Uh -huh. yes. Run. <laughs> what else? Get up. Funny it says. Oh, get up show. and stay. Get up and stay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Look at the one Gustavo sent. Show and hide. Yeah, that's a really good one. I like it. And funny serious as you want. Yes. Funny serious. Show and hide is a very. I like this one. Okay. Any other that you can think about? I think a good practice is to look for more examples and then we can share them, you know, and that way we can expand our vocabulary. Sometimes we don't find words to describe uh, anything, but then we might use synonyms or antonyms to express the same idea. Angry and camp. Oh, that one is really good, Angie. I have seen, I have seen that on, on the doors, right? When you uh, uh, are about to go in any, place or stores or banks, it says push. And then and then when you want to leave, it says maybe pull or the other way around. 
go stop. Yes, get up, lie down. Okay. Yes, you see, we have some other examples. I'm, I'm glad. Thank you so much. Some of you are trying to think, some of you are uh, brainstorming ideas. That's really cool. In out. Yes. Right. Good. And um, I want you to take a look at our next activity. This is what we're going to be doing, guys. Uh, take a look at this one. And now, uh, this is our challenge number one. I want you to please choose one verb pair from the previous list, and I want you to use them in a sentence. So let's see, uh, maybe present, past, or past participle. You decide. You decide how to how to create your. So basically, you can use it at um, I don't know, maybe in present or past or past participle, and try to use. Uh, one verb per, what does it mean? So if you have, uh, let's see, let me go back. This one's, uh, how can I use the two verbs in the same sentence, accept and refuse? Let's create one sentence, including the two actions, the two verbs. Who can help me out with one sentence in the same, using both? Can give you an, an idea of i think the first one is easy i can say uh, i'm going to accept um angie's invitation next time she does it because last time i refused you know to to take it or to accept it or to go out or to have dinner or whatever it says so i'm using the two verbs in the same sentence so how can we use the next one how can we use admit or maybe the same one i just mentioned in the same, in the same sentence. It doesn't matter the tense. So who wants to try? Maybe we can create one per each one. We have six. Let's think about admit. How can we say it? Any, anyone who would like to participate? Let's say, I like hamburger. Ah, we have some ideas on the chat. Let's see, I like hamburgers, I accepted the ring, then I, ah, ah that's why you were laughing, I see. <laughs> hey, thank you. Ah, you told me an idea. <laughs> like, uh, you just, you know, um, maybe gave fake, you know, expectations or, <laughs> No. You really, you really mean. <laughs> okay. So, what about the other ones? Any other um, sentence using the next verbs using these antonyms in the same sentence? Think about maybe agree, borrow, dislike, force. All right, we have one from, let's see, this is G Jenny. I enjoy running, running. I enjoy running and I dislike dancing. Okay, good. Good ones. Dancing. After dislike yeah. and after enjoy, the verb we, we add is it has to be in, um, in ING form. You know, that's the way it is accepted. Emma, tell us, Emma, what do you want to say? Any any sentence? Yes, uh, my friend Reina is going to get divorced tomorrow, and I'm going to get married next year. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay, good. I like it. You see, you're using both. Awesome, Reina. I agreed to go out, but I also decided because uh, I don't like the food of the place. Mm -hmm. Okay, you initially agreed and then you disagreed because of the invitation. 
Oh, because of the place. All right, good. Um, what about the other ones? One more example, and the ones who haven't participated, think about, don't, um, don't keep your ideas, share them. I mean, take some time, think about it and use them. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to read, now we're just creating sentences, simple sentences. And these are the verbs we are um, considering. Well, this is not yet. These are the ones, maybe you can use uh, forget and remember, spend, or the ones you already, the ones you shared. I applied for a job, but they deny to accept my CV. Next day, they call me, tell me that I, I was admitted. You see, you're using like more than one, Gustav. That's really good. I like it. All right, so that's the idea. I want to give one more minute, okay? Because I have another challenge for you. I dislike cooking, but I enjoy my mother's food. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, our mothers, right? They, you know, when, when your mother cooks, you know, if you have your mother alive, that's a blessing, right? Good. So we are going to move on. We have like, I'm going to, this time I'm going to give you five minutes because I'm going to have another challenge for you. And challenge number two, please this time using the same, the same verse, we have said like a couple of verse, I want you to create a story. It can be real, it can be even an anecdote you have experienced or something imaginary, okay? And create this short story using at least five verbs. Now it's not a sentence, now it's a story, okay? You can start something like once upon a time or maybe you can say last, last Tuesday or last week I was blah, blah, blah. And then you try to use the verse in any tense. How many? Five. Five story real or imaginary okay so i'm gonna give you five minutes i'm looking forward to hearing your stories i really hope everyone is start writing so you can create your story these are the verse guys this ones so five minutes start writing please let's see how you how creative you you um you are in, on this think about it five minutes For this story, we have to use the beer of the birth or just a bear? Uh, well, we have to use the, what, what do you say? The, the, what was your question, Emma? Yes, I know. We, I know that we have to use five birds, but I don't pretty sure if, I, if we want to use, if we have to use the beer of the birds, like in that charge or just aware if we have to use accept or accept and refuse. 
I will, I, I will, I see, I see your question. I will leave it up to you. Okay, I will leave it. Because the point is that you use these verbs, right? And then if you can use them, if you can use both, that'll be great. But then if it's the purpose in general is to use any of these verbs in the chart, okay, in your story. Okay, so think of, but it doesn't necessarily have to be in present. You can say it in past or future, or even you can create a condition, the one we have studied, or simple past forms as well, okay? So as long as you use the verb, it'll be fine. If you finish faster than five minutes, just let me know. But I want you to use the verb. Before you start sharing your story, I want you to share the verbs that you have used on the chat. I think we have our first one. Good, Angie. I'm glad. I want to hear it. One more minute. Just ready. See, I really hope the other ones are working on this. Share it. Like, think about what you want to talk, what you want to express your ideas about. Take two more minutes because time really flies. Two more minutes. How are you doing guys? Finished? Not yet? Okay. So Angie, Thank you, Jenny. Jenny finished. Okay. No, no, to... pero me faltó. Bye, bye. Okay, no problem, no problem. Try to finish it. Try to finish it. We have like, let's take one more minute. I am ready. We had Giovanni's one here. <laughs> okay. I want to hear it, Giovanni. I want you to tell that story. Okay. 
That's really interesting. It's a real story. Is, is it <laughs> real one? <laughs> <laughs> that is that is really sad if you think about it. But how can that happen? I don't get it. I don't know. I just don't get how can these things happen. Because if you, I mean, if you go to the to the altar, you go to the church, you know, it's because you are convinced, right? But people, right? People, how they make it. All right. So one more minute, and then wow, we have another one here. I don't know if you have it in your computer, guys, because I want I want to hear everyone's stories, but I want you to say it with your own voice, okay? So let's start, Angie, let's start with your one. You were the first one because time is like this. We only have like five more minutes. Go ahead, Angie, please take your time. Okay. This morning I was driving to the job. Suddenly some boy ran across the street. His mom saved him. He had to stop at the corner. I was so freaking out. With that, I eating in and out hamburger. After after that, I went home and I pushed the door, but I forgot I forgot I have to pull it. Pull it it. Okay. That's it. Good. I can see. I heard some of the verse you had shared with us, right? Uh, you were using these antonyms as well that you, you shared. The, remember the ED sounds, right? Pushed, pulled, like, because they are ED, the way you pronounce it is the appropriate D, I mean, ED sound, okay? But then uh, um, I, I like it, you know, I like it. You it, Is that real story or imaginary, Angie? Imaginary. Oh, you invented it, I see, okay. Yes, but... Uh, but uh... But uh, in in the United States, In and Out Hamburger is real. It is mm -hmm. a real brand. Okay, all right. I think I have heard it. All right, good. So thank you so much for sharing. It sounded like a real story. I don't know why, but it was your experience. But thank you so much. Next one. Now we listen to everybody's going to participate. Let's let's um listen to I don't know maybe one boy. Can you tell your story and add a bit more of info, Giovanni? Did that happen? Excuse me? How did that happen? Tell us about your story. Tell us more and read what you have sent. About the last week, a weekend, I went to a wedding and when the bride was asked if she will accept the room, she refused. My girlfriend disliked that, but I enjoyed the party. But so you yeah, enjoyed but, the party or the uh, action? Yeah. Yeah. Um, above. <laughs> but I I brand. I bring the gift. I have to enjoy the party. So, so the party kept going. Yeah. Regardless the result of these two guys. So at the uh, end, after uh -huh. after this, uh, uh, they said uh, you can eat the food and drink. Um, um the the almost the couple uh -huh. uh, if it was went to the um the house but uh I stayed in the in the place fue una quinta una, en una quinta ahí nos quedamos so you, you stay there you enjoyed it and, but then the wedding didn't happen basically 
<laughs> but let's say there's perfect excuse to continue partying, but then the main reason at the end or the main objective of this thing didn't take place. Wow, well, that's really strange, right? I can see. Oh, right. Let's listen to one more, one more, because uh, I know there are many good ones here. Uh -huh. uh, how do you say? Uh, sorry, es, ensayo es, es ensayo. Ensayo, if it is an ensayo like written, it's essay. But if it is ensayo to, or to do something, it can be rehearsal. Rehearsal. I don't have a story, but I have a essay. An essay, okay, go ahead, tell us. What is it about? Um, my essay says, there is a literary figure called antithesis, and it works using two opposite concepts, like, I make an effort to forget and unfortunately, I remember the more the pain grows, the more the heart shrinks. Sometimes I cry with joy. Sometimes I loud with pain. To rain, the rain more moistens the stretch, the street, but dries my heart. Uh, you must choose between living as a slave or dying. You must choose living as slave or dying. What was the last word I didn't hear? Free. Free. Uh, okay, it's interesting. And did you write that? Or you? Uh, yes, I am free in this, in this time, but the example, I you, you uh, did it. No, I was looking for examples. Oh, okay, I can see. Okay, I was really like uh, inspirational, you know. <laughs> that is, I thought that you had you had inspired yourself, you know. All right, thank you so much. Maybe Emma and then Jenny, and we finish. Emma, what's your story? I saw you raised your hand. Okay, well. Three years ago, I was in the parking of the university. I was waiting for the bus when someone told me, hi, Emma, I didn't imagine finding you here. It was something weird because we had never talked before. By the way, I enjoyed the conversation that we had. And a week later, I learned that person up and she introduced me to her friends who are now my friends too. Nice. So you expanded your friends to do that incident. Okay, nice. And I can see we have here some others. I can see the one Gustavo saying last year I applied for a job, but they didn't, they, they did not to accept me. They admitted another, another one, but next month, the guy who was accepted, a job quit. Wow, is that a real story? Real story or no, no, no. it's a fake story. <laughs> a good one, you know. But for somebody, it could be. It could be, yeah, it could be, yeah, that's for sure. Then we have Jenny's one here. Uh, a few years ago, studying in Spain. Mm -hmm. Is that a real story, Jenny? Yes. Oh, I can see. Interesting. Interesting. So you studying in Spain. Wow. Lovely. That's great. Great experience right there. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for, you know, participating in this type of activities. I know uh, when we are speaking, we challenge ourselves to think, uh, to start um, maybe thinking about how we're going to express some ideas. Uh, well, I'm going to stop right here. See you guys tomorrow. Please work on the activities on the platform. Okay. Bye-bye and take care, please. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.